So we're gonna pull a shot on the Gaja today using some, uh, some tricks. We're not gonna use the steamer, we're just gonna um, hit the button on and off. We um, already did five minutes of thermal pre-infusion. So we're starting to see some drips. So we'll do one more little, there we go. And then wait like 30 seconds, which is a long wait, but uh, nothing happens to the coffee. Doesn't go back inside the machine and we get a better shot this way. So it's already pretty dark. There's some unevenness in the, the way the water inputs that I don't like about the gotcha, but if this is all you have, then by all means, do the best with what you got. So full power is still a little, a little hard, but you can pressure pulse this. And each time it's giving about um, two to five milliliters of water. Then we got some flow control. Steady flow right there. So this flow rate was pretty good. Um, it's dark like I like. I cooled it down with these coffee jewelies in one cup, and then I've been pouring into another cup so I can take a measurement. Um, I forgot pipettes when I traveled, so I've been using a spoon, and I have to say I like the spoon because. You can stir and then wipe off the spoon, so there's a cleanliness there that you can't quite get with the pipettes. So I get a sample. Poop, poop. So it was about a 23 grams in, 24 grams out. It was 4% moisture added, so the ratio is a little bit higher than that when adjusting for moisture. And then with the Fast reading TDS, it's 19.23, which means it's a um, 20.7% extraction yield at a 1.1 to 1 ratio. So good shot, but it's not uh, so straightforward of just pushing the gaja. So I'll do another shot where I just push straight through and see what the extraction yield is.